What up guys, welcome back to the vlog. We got another Tesla in, so if you watched our last video, uh, not our last video, like one or two videos ago, we wrapped our boy Sneakerhead in the Bay's Model 3 in a purple film. It came out super dope. So what I don't want to do here is show you the same exact process because we do have another white one. It is going in a different color. It's not going to be purple like you've seen in the last video, but it is going to be pretty repetitive. So I don't want to show you guys detail by detail. This is going to be more of a time lapse video. Um, really somebody who's trying to see what it takes to wrap any car. So if you're going to be wrapping a car in the near future, this video will kind of show you the entire process. Um, just more of a time lapse style video. If you have any questions, comment below. We're going to jump right into the project. But before I do so, I want to tell you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I want to let you guys know that we're going to be giving away a bunch of product in this video. We're going to hide some discount codes within the context of the video. Watch the video if you find it. Comment below, let us know, and uh, somehow, some way, we're gonna choose a couple winners here. Before I get started, you filming? You filming me? All right, before I get started wrapping these quarter, or this quarter panel and this panel here, I'm gonna mask off the chrome. There's multiple reasons why we mask off the chrome, but there's one that a lot of you guys don't think of. And what it is, is it's gonna lower the tack for me. As I'm wrapping onto this chrome trim, if it's not wrapped with tape, what we see happen is as we're installing the material, we need to pick it up. It gets really stuck here and then it starts to bond to the chrome. So when you wrap it in tape like this, it lowers the adhesion of the vinyl to the car itself, which allows us to place the panels a little bit better. It also provides protection, but we really don't need that protection because we know what we're doing with our blades and we're safe with them, but it's an extra precaution. As you guys can see behind me, I got the rear door wrapped. Um, typically when, when I start wrapping, I usually start with the easy panel. I want to get familiar with the material. Although I've used 3M multiple times, when you jump in between brands, they all have their own different characteristics. So it's important to, to remember what brand you're working with, how it reacts to heat, also the thickness. Every color has a little bit different thickness to a different feel. It all installs a little bit different is what I'm trying to get at. So I laid that panel back there. I feel confident. I understand what, what the materials are reacting like to the weather conditions. So moving forward, you should be able to move a lot faster. No, you're not crazy. That part didn't get filmed because Daniel turned off my camera and it turned back on. He's a jerk. My bad. He's a jerk.
favorite tools. My favorite tools are the premium squeegee with the yellow banana buffer. Gotta have the schnitty in your pocket. Gotta have the young tuck. Gotta have the little roller. I love this tool right here. This thing is badass. Also, the Opla stainless steel blade with the, the Japanese black blades. I don't know what these things are called, but they're super, super sharp. Like, sharp enough to where if you get poked with them, don't it hurts. Me. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap the hood first. I'm gonna knock this thing out. I know the music's really loud in the back corner, but we're, hey, thanks, guys. We're vibing over here. You know, in the wrap room, you gotta keep the energy high because it's easy to get cold. It's easy to get, I'm just gonna get rapping. Going up, elevate, watch me demonstrate. On time, never late. First things first, as always, before I start wrapping the panel, I wiped it down. Although, although this car was clay barred yesterday, you still coming back the next day. You need to wipe it down again, make sure you get all the dust, the debris, anything that may have been in the air got on there. I've done that already, wiped it down. The last thing I'm gonna do before I start wrapping is use the tack cloth. I use the tack cloth on every panel right before I wrap. And basically, this is something that came over from the painter's world. Before they paint any panels, what they'll do is they'll use this to wipe down the panel, make sure any dust, any debris gets off of the, the panel that they're painting. So I'm gonna do that right now, and then instead of painting it, I'm gonna wrap it, but I'm gonna make it look like paint. Same fit four days. four days. I grind four ways. Four ways. I play no games. no games. All me, no blame. On the wave, my own wave can't stop my shine. Can't stop my shine. In the lane, my own lane can't stop my can't grind. Stop my grind. For the yard in the V12 and like 1.5. At 19, I clip 19 in a month, no lie. Oh God. I was starving skinny, now my weight up Got no energy for haters See you trying, see you later See you later. I'm shooting for the stars Need no laser beam Blowing like the greatest But it's one who's always greater yo, yo. Go dummy, go beast on him I go beast Go deep, I OD on him Apply pressure, put heat on him No, hey, the music, David. Perfect glass, perfect hook, and Wait, then show, I show snapped the, the material. Show, show, show yeah. the snapper. Look, look at the, the snapperino. Come see this. Look at this. Like busted open, bro. Like that piano. Hey, round two is gonna be better. All right, as you guys can see, if you watch from the other side to this side, you notice that I removed the chrome trim that I was able to tuck into pretty easily over there, but I did get some uh, feedback on Instagram. One of the best things about social media is how quick things can happen. I posted up a video of us on Instagram. If you don't follow us, I showed me wrapping that side over there, and one of another, another installer has hit us up and said, hey, it's really easy to get that window trim off. Here's how you do it. So shout out to him. I don't recall exactly what his Instagram was. If I can get the time to do it, I will put it right here on the screen. But shout out to you, bro. It was a really easy thing to do. All I had to do was remove the rubber trims and then bolt the window trim that was all right here. Now I'm gonna have a lot easier time tucking everything. So that's why that was done different. And that's probably the best thing about wrapping cars is you're able to do, there's multiple ways to get something done. You, you know, you don't have to take off all these trims. You can work around them. But in most cases, when you're able to get rid of a piece to get a duck, get a deeper tuck, that's golden. That's good. That's, let me wrap. Thank you, bro.
Without me? Sorry, bro. Didn't give me a heads up? We're the worst at that, huh? Oh my god. Didn't we just have a meeting about teamwork? You know what it is? Wow. You know, we see one camera on, we're like, oh, we're good, but oh. I forgot. Camera A is over here doing the job. I'm joking, bro. I know you're. I know you're Pretty much what he said is your job could be replaced. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was more of a time-lapse episode. We didn't go into too much detail because like I said early in the beginning of the vlog, we just did a Tesla like a week or two ago. So you got a vlog fully showing the process of wrapping the Model 3. So we had another one in shortly after this gray one that you just watched. We really sped through the process. If you guys have anything in particular you feel like is missing on this channel, anything that you think that we need to be showing, let us know. We're always here. We're all ears. We want to know what you guys want to what you guys want to watch. Ultimately, this channel doesn't exist without you guys. I will say that I love going back and watching old videos of us and seeing us progress. Go back, watch some old videos, watch where we started, get inspired. It motivates me, it excites me. I see the progress from two years ago, when we, three years ago now, when we started the channel to where we're at now, it's amazing. It helps me stay motivated. And if you guys ever wanna do anything with your life, you can do it, you just gotta start. That's the biggest thing, just get started. And uh, we didn't know what we were doing. We still don't know what we're doing with this channel. We didn't know what, how to run a wrap shop and we're learning with you guys. We got a camera in front of us and we're showing you guys how we're learning how to do it. Still got a lot to learn. I still wanna keep documenting and showing you guys the process. Stay motivated, stay inspired, and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. BAM!
and a sneak peek. Ah, yeah. That's <laughs> the next video right there. Next video. This is the next video. How to wrap an Escalade.